here. First of all, it is now 2020. Crazy how last year has gone by, but it is a new decade. Welcome to the new year. So happy you guys are joining us. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Danielle. I love Jesus. I swim a lot. I love coffee. And as you can see, I love the color yellow. So yeah, welcome to my channel. Now today I decided to sit down because it is a new year, because it's 2020, because it's January 1st, what better way to ring in the new year than talk about goals, dreams, resolutions, all that fun stuff that comes with the beginning of a new year. And I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I am not a super big fan of New Year's resolutions. One, because once you've achieved it in the year, it's kind of like, oh, well, what do I do now? Two, if you don't achieve it, it's like, oh, did I fail this year? Did I really not do my best or what? whatever it may be. And so instead of New Year's resolutions, I usually pick a word for the year. I've only really done this for the past three years, but I really enjoy picking a word for the year because it's something you can totally just live out throughout every day, your daily life, what you're doing. It's a good reminder if you're kind of straying off your what your goal is, you can kind of reset with this word in mind. And I really enjoy it. And so it kind of coincides with this channel actually because we all have a light to shine and it's thanks to Jesus that we have this light and we get the opportunity to help make the world a little bit brighter. And by having a word, it can kind of just motivate us along to shine our lights. It can remind us what we're doing it can give us a little bit more purpose if we have seemed to stray from ours and whatnot. And so I think it's a super great idea. So my word for 2019 was living dangerously. And I know that can kind of seem like, okay, well, why would you be so reckless as to pick a word like that? I'm going to explain. So for me, living dangerously all meant living dangerously for the kingdom of God, which meant uh, living boldly, taking risks, good, good risks, risks for the kingdom of God, risk in swimming, like putting myself out there, training a little bit harder. And I really saw the fruit of living dangerously this year um, because one, I started a vlog channel. So that's that's not putting yourself out there. I really don't know what is. Um, I started selling merch. That was super fun. I made the world championship team. I was really vulnerable with a lot of people. I grew closer to God. I helped out with the homeless a lot more than before. I spoke a lot about God way more than I have done in the past so for a lot of my friends who never heard me talk about Jesus and now that's all I talk about would have been a bit of a shock for them not <laughs> sorry but not sorry at the same time and yeah just really living dangerously and pushing the limits of my purpose was something that was really fun this year and I really enjoyed it but now as 2019 has come and gone <laughs> uh, I've got a new word this year and that word is expectant so what does being expectant mean? Okay, so let me pull my phone out here so I don't mess this up. But um, the word expectant in the Hebrew dictionary, in the Hebrew translation, it's transla translated as yachel, which means to wait and to hope for and to trust in what's coming. And I thought that was super cool and just God really spoke to me about this word and was like, you're going to be expectant this year and this is what it means. And for me to be expectant, it means to have a little bit more hope in what God is doing in the world, um, the light that I have to shine into the world that it can bring hope to other people and the the training that I'm putting in will have some sort of payoff at the end of the day and um, trusting in God's promises so really believing that what he promises is good and just to really put my hope behind that and to have a little bit more faith and be expectant that good things will come this year and that is something that I struggle with really being confident in myself and being confident in what I'm doing um, because this year is 2020 and it is the Paralympic year. So at the end of March, I will be trying to make the Tokyo Paralympic team. And the past four, eight, 12, it'll be 12, oh goodness gracious. Um, so the past two other Paralympic trials, I haven't made the team. I have yet to become a Paralympian. And so I've had bad experiences with this meet and I have not had the greatest time at these competitions. And so it's really easy to lose hope and to lose trust in your training and what you've done. and just when the past has not been that fun and that great. And so I'm intentionally being more expectant of the good that can come, trusting my training, trusting God, putting out all the excellence that I can and just be expecting that he's gonna show up. And I'm believing that today and I'm believing that for you guys that um, just be expectant this year. May 2020 just fill you with everything that you've been working for, all of your heart's desires. May you achieve the things that you want to achieve. Can you, may, 
May you believe that you can do it. May you believe that your light matters. And I just pray that your light will shine in all of the darkness around us. And you can be expectant that when you shine your light, good things happen, things change, lights turn on in other people, other people will shine their lights, and this world will become a lot brighter. So just be expectant and be expectant of that and what God will do. And just what your faith will do when you take that step and you st put yourself out there in the light and just be expectant that when you do that, things will change. Things will happen and it'll be a wonderful year. In Jesus' name, amen. That's basically all I had for you today. I hope you guys have a great year. I hope you are encouraged by this message. If you do not have a word for the year, go make yourself get yourself a word think about it pray about it find a word and allow that word to motivate you to get things done because we're not here forever and so we might as well make the most out of this life that we've been given so encourage you guys with that today hope you have a wonderful day i gotta go but uh we'll see you next time on another episode of